In this video, I will be using Upstart Epoxy's Art Resin. I will talk more about how you can save 5% later on in the video. I will also be using Arteza paints and peacock feathers. Normally when I turn something, I use a mortise, but I want to feel comfortable turning things with a tenon. When I first started turning, I had a really bad experience. The piece that I, I was turning, I put a tenon on, and it was not secure, and it flew off the lathe and missed my head by centimeters, scared the living crap out of me, and I said, there is no way I'm going to use a tenon on things. So I felt more comfortable with the mortise. And the more I turn, and I'm getting more comfortable turning, there's a lot of times that you don't want a mortise, you want a tenon. So I have been turning things to where I can put a tenon on it, just so that way I can get good enough and feel more comfortable with a tenon. I'm not going to spend too much more time lollygagging on the outside of this bowl. I want to flip it around so we can start talking about Upstart Epoxy's Art Resin, how you can save 5%. Also, if you can give me a thumbs up if you like this video, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And also, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my videos.
thank my husband for my early Christmas present. He um, got me an, um, an Easy Wood Pro Hollower, and I'm telling you what, I can't believe I went this long without one of these. It is an absolutely amazing tool, and I'm so glad that I have it now. Also, his just believing in me and supporting me in this process of making YouTube videos and stuff, he has been just absolutely amazing. And I just had to um, put that in there and had to let him know that thank you so much for believing in me. Here I'm just using a wire brush to knock off the loose dirt and bark before I char the outside of the rim. I was looking for something dark to kind of frame out the inside of the bowl and that's why I decided to torch the outside rim just to give me that effect. Here I'm sanding the bowl. I started at 60 grit and I went clear up to 220 grit. Upstart Epoxy is made in the USA. It's eco-friendly, food safe, non-yellowing, UV resistant. This is the perfect epoxy for any of your projects. If you're interested in trying Upstart Epoxy for yourself, in the description below I will have a link where you can save 5%. Just enter the code TBWOODTURNING. After I cut the top of the peacock feather um, to size, I had to trim the top part of the feathers because they were just too big for the bottom of the bowl. I wanted to go for a sunset effect behind the, the peacock feather, so I am using Arteza's gold paint, Mars orange, and raw umber. And I'm just going to blend these together until I get the sunset that I'm looking for. I mixed up a small batch of Upstart Epoxy's art resin and I used pearl mica powder in it. I wish I would have did this pour before I added the feathers because it kind of covered the feathers too much and kind of took away from the feathers itself and if I would have had that as a backdrop I think that would have been a lot better.
I decided to use a paintbrush to spread the epoxy on the, the um, walls of the bowl and to make it thinner over the feathers because I didn't want the first coat to be a big blob in the middle. So I, I wanted to make sure the whole inside of the bowl was coated with this and then um, I used the paintbrush also to to straighten the feathers back out, the fan back out. The first part of this is completely set up and I'm mixing up the second small pour of Upstart Epoxy Art Resin. On this, I, after looking at it after it was set up, I did not like the pearl look, the shininess that the pearl was given over the feathers and I wanted to tame it down some so I was looking through my makeup powder and I found copper and I thought, well, you know, that would kind of tame it down a little bit. And it would also go with the, the backdrop, you know, the sun that I was looking for in the sunset. But it's definitely something that I learned my lesson on. I will definitely do a test piece for now on. So that way I'm not ruining the piece that I'm working on. But that's something to take in consideration is uh, if you're new at using epoxies and stuff like that, to, to test it first. Test, test over your piece of... Uh, stuff you're putting into your project and also remember if you're interested in trying upstart epoxy for yourself there will be a link in the description where you can save five percent Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out. Remember, I will put a link in the description if you'd like to try Upstart Epoxy for yourself. You can save 5% by entering the coupon code TVWoodTurning.